Got to get all this stuff loaded up. I'm all loaded up, ready to go to the track, which is one hour away, and that clock is five minutes late. This is a part of karting that sucks, getting up early in the morning to go do it. I'm not a morning person, more of a nighttime person. Hey, Bucky's. Maybe I'll see you later. I hope to see you later, at least. Hey, that's v -Sit right in front of me. We're gonna be pit partners today. All right, just pulled up. Got to get unloaded, get the uh, pit area set up, and get the cart going. Here we go. I need to get this on the back seat of the cart for my uh, transponder. All right, got the numbers on the cart. I was going to go with number 12, but the way the sticker kit came, 421 was just easier, so we did that. This one's crooked and it bugs me. I nailed this side though. George, what's up, man? Having some troubles. What's wrong? Uh, I spun out on my second lap, third lap, I went off on the grass. So I mowed the lawn a bit, but cleaned it up and we're gonna go back out here in a sec. All right, got the cart ready to go. Gonna put on my suit and uh, my shoes and stuff and get on track and get some practice in. It's time 42 and Justin's over there and just now showing up. All right, so I just got done with practice and I'm still messing with the jetting on the carburetor. I've only driven this car really one weekend, so I'm trying to get everything adjusted just, you know, the, the way it should be. Um, George has a problem here. Yeah, that, Say hello to everyone, Vicent. Hello. What's up, dude? Uh, Decided to show up? Yeah, a little late, but you know. Put some gas in, crank it, air in the tires. Good to go. Here's all the stuff Vicent brought. Justin, what'd you bring? Bang energy. <laughs> Just like discount tire. Yeah. Just as quick. We're gonna do, we'll go with low sugar grape. I've got some Red Bulls, zero sugar, and then if I do well, I get to drink this one, full sugar. My favorite, fruit punch. Hey Martin, so do you have the accent to match the shoes? Sorry. What advice do you have for uh, Justin? No. Justin, well, he should have an advantage. He's got the uh, KA100. So he's got an extra two horsepower in this race. We'll see. Sounds good, right? That sounds good. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Hey, so what are we doing today? So we're doing a, a front heat and a back heat. So you start one in the front, one in the back. Um, so two mixed heats. Yeah, what, what, do, you, do you understand what's going on? Uh, I don't what are you really. talking about? Two selected heats. Two random selected heats. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. They don't do this in rental car racing. No, they don't do this in rental cars. Yeah. yeah, we don't know how to do that. We don't do that in rental cars. All right. Yeah, slow it down. <laughs> Bring slow it down, down to... Down. He's got one more tire left. Bring oh, it down to video. level oh, two. Oh, you had a fan. You've had a fan and you missed it. idea of how to do all that uh, as far as the flags on it. Yeah, the main event will be your average of the points for the first two heats. So there's no qualifying. No qualifying. There's no way they can screw this up. Nah. <laughs> there's no way. No way. Everybody understand that? What's up, guys? Welcome to Illegal Alien Racing. It is race day at the club race. My first club race at a 100cc cart. Let's see how this goes. What a bunch of dicks. <laughs> We're going live, dude. Get to be quiet now. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Illegal Alien Racing. I'm out at DKC and this is a club race. My first club race in a 100cc cart. So we'll see how it goes. Why do you sound so tired? <laughs>
All right, so that was the first of two pre-finals, and it went about as I thought it would go. The, the start there was a little chaotic. The grid kind of got messed up, so uh, it being the first race, I kind of want to just settle in and not try anything too crazy. The rear end still feels a little loose to me, so what I'm going to do is um, make a minor adjustment and tighten up the rear bumper, and it should tighten up the back end just a little bit, and I'm going to change the air pressure. Overall, you know, let's have fun. I'm still learning. Let's make some minor adjustments and see how they go. Of course, let's not wreck. Let's stay safe and let's have a lot of fun. That's the goal. That race didn't go as well. I actually ran a little bit slower than I did in the first pre-final, and I finished ninth out of tenth. Um, we measured the rear wheels when I came in. I was feeling some wheel hop uh, on the rear end, so we measured that, and the wheels were a little bit offset, so we made an adjustment on that, made them a little wider. So now I should loosen the card up, um, and I'll loosen the rear bumper back up. So we're gonna make that adjustment and see um, if that helps. I hope it does. This happened after the uh, first pre-final and I asked since I don't know. Apparently on these uh, Bridgestones, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's um, specific to Bridgestone or not, but um, if you go out there and you run brand new tires really hard, this starts to happen. Um, so Martin gave me some advice on how to prevent this from happening in the future, which is run a few laps, like three laps, you know, 50% or whatever, let them cool down and go back out and you should be fine. I was behind him. And um, let me show you Justin's car. Justin, this is his right front. Had the same issue, uh, but just on a different tire. So now we know what not to do. So we, sh we should be fine though. And uh, good to go. Hold on, I gotta do media real quick. Getting ready for pre-final number two, hanging out with the guys. Really not getting much done except burning time. <laughs> this is what go-kart racing is really like. Just, just waiting. Just waiting. Just waiting around. What do you how, think, Justin? How was your first race in the new car? Spectacular. I didn't wreck. So in the final, I went out just for a few laps and actually brought it in. I thought my cart was running way hotter than it actually was because the uh, display on my Micron changed and I didn't get a, a good look at it and was reading the wrong data actually. And um, it's my fault, but um, you only get like a few, like a second or whatever to glance at it while it's running at its hottest. So instead of risking blowing the engine up, I thought I'd bring it in, just call it a day. And then come to find out the data display was incorrect, so I was looking at the wrong stuff. Anyways, that's all right. Kind of embarrassing, but that's what happened, and uh, we'll fix it. Come back out and do better next time. So, anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.